Hi, I'm Ben from Energy Matters. Welcome to the second instalment of our solar workshop videos. In this video, I'll be showing you the fundamentals of batteries and fusing. Batteries are used to store energy by means of a chemical reaction. Batteries are often fairly low in voltage. This battery is a 12 volt lead acid battery, meaning its voltage is usually just above 12 volts. However, a battery can deliver very high levels of electrical current. This can be dangerous as heating and electrical wiring can lead to fires and burns. For this reason, extreme care should be taken to never short out a battery. Shorting involves accidentally connecting positive and negative directly together, resulting in sparks and red hot wire within seconds. In this case, the battery is fitted with a circuit breaker. A circuit breaker is similar to a fuse, except it can be reset rather than having to be replaced. Fuses and circuit breakers are designed to open the electrical circuit if current flow is too high, therefore protecting the wiring from overheating. Batteries should always be used with a fuse or circuit breaker rated to prevent cable overheating during accidental faults. The wiring you use to connect a load, such as this highly efficient 12 volt fridge, should be sized according to the current draw the fridge is likely to impose. According to the manufacturer's label, this fridge draws 6 amps. Looking at a wire size chart, or using an online wiring size calculator, such as the one on the Energy Matters website, we can determine the correct wire size. According to the online calculator, this fridge needs wire size of at least 6 mm square, the standard metric unit of measurement for wire. If we use cable any smaller than 6 mm square, there's a chance the volt drop in the cable would be excessive, resulting in low efficiency, and it could also impair the operation of the fridge. When looking at an online calculator, we can determine the maximum current carrying capacity and therefore the fuse or circuit breaker rating for this cable. In this case, it should be no larger than 25 amps. If more than 25 amps flowed through the cable, it would become too hot and the plastic insulation could begin to melt. Because this fridge only uses 6 amps, it would be excessive to install a fuse or circuit breaker much larger than that. So we chose 10 amps for the circuit breaker rating to allow for some surges in demand, such as when the fridge is first turned on. This allows the fridge to run without the fuse or circuit breaker unnecessarily tripping as well as offering good fault current protection for the cable by not letting more than 10 amps flow through it. Mount the fuse or circuit breaker in a sturdy enclosure or holder as close to the battery as possible. This prevents there being too much unprotected cable in the system, reducing the risk of fires and burns even further. Cut the fuse into either the negative, or in this case the positive cable, and connect the terminals firmly. Typically, it's a good idea to fuse the positive cable if you're working on motorhomes, caravans or any other vehicle install where negative chassis grounding could lead to complications. In this instance, we've used a circuit breaker. However, other types of fuse exist for this kind of application. Uh, two that I have here are the glass fuse and the blade fuse. Right, I'll just pop this guy in here. Remember, always use insulated tools when working with batteries. Let's give them a bit of a tighten up. We now have a safely wired battery ready for use. Remember, batteries can produce explosive hydrogen gas and should therefore be kept away from sources of flame, preferably in a separate box with good ventilation to the outside of the vehicle or building like this one. The fuse should not be mounted inside the battery box, but just outside, in case sparks increase the risk of fire. 
that guy in there. Lid on. And we're all done. So now you have a basic understanding of batteries and fusing. Be sure to check out the other great videos in the series. And remember, energy matters. See you next time.